Hey guys, it's Duff from Modern Wagon, and I'm going to give you guys an exclusive tour of the interior of our Modern Wagon. There's been some requests to check out uh, what the interior looks like in our Modern Wagon, and we're working on getting some finished interior photos up on our website, but I thought I'd give you guys just a quick a little tour of the inside here, and just show you the major components and uh, finishes of what we chose to when we designed and built our tiny home. So let's start at the front here. This is the facing the tongue, the very front, so we tow in this direction. So you come in through this front door here, which opens up into this nice large open floor area, which is enough room for Ashley to do yoga or stretch or just uh, lay here on the front. We built this, uh, it worked out almost perfect for this uh, couch we bought from Dania. Uh, this is a very comfortable sectional couch and actually very affordable as well. And it just squeezed in there perfectly. We have nice, two nice windows here too. Looking at both sides here. We're in uh, Santa Cruz, it's a cool little view here. Then above the living room area, you climb up our little ship ladder, which takes you up to this nice large loft space where we have a queen size bed up here. And we built this tall enough that uh, we have about three and a half feet so we can set up a bed and not hit our heads. Then we have two nice windows up here, which the curtains are closed, but you get the same views below. Then straight across from the front door, we have this very tall window, which gives us an incredible amount of light and some quite incredible views while we've been on the road this summer. Then a uh, quick thing about materials. Uh, this is a bamboo strand hardwood floor. Uh, very easy to install. This was uh, actually from Home Depot. And then the uh, interior finish is a pre-finished birch. It's a very nice material there. And then moving, turning around, facing the opposite direction, we have the desk office dining zone here. We it's kind of a multiple use zone with a gigantic window here. It gives us uh, quite incredible views out there. Then we have a quite large wardrobe here. We just made it simple for now, just hanging on top. And boxes below for all of our uh, folding clothes. Then next to that is the a fridge by LG. We'll, we'll do another post uh, a little more in depth on uh, the various appliances. And then above that, so we use these cool Velcro straps while we're traveling to keep things closed. They actually work quite nice. We have plenty of storage up there. And then an opposite side of the kitchen. We have another nice LG washer dryer combo unit, which works uh, quite well. And then space above that for a laundry hamper and other various storage. We might put shelves in here at some point. And then another large area for storage above there as well. And then moving into the kitchen zone. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a... Uh, Nice little sink, very large, I'd say for a tiny home at least. Um, works uh, quite nice. A bit of storage underneath. Next to that is just more storage with adjustable shelves. Um, nothing special in here, just shelves with organization. But I feel like this is more than enough room for what Ashley and I need. And then moving above. We have this really 
cool mural that one of Ashley's friends had painted. We wanted this to be a nice contrast from all of the, the warm uh, birch wood that we use just about everywhere. <laughs> but this is a, a fun little mirror, mural. Then just more storage up here. We use this system. These are Ikea boxes with this anti-slip mat. Uh, this actually worked really good for traveling. This stuff stays solid. We've not had anything thaw out of here or break. And then just a couple more adjustable shelves. And then moving next to that. Very nice compact hood. Works extremely well. A two burner electric stove top. Oh, drop my phone there. <laughs> and then a little convection microwave and then just a little more storage below there. And continuing back, this is the bathroom area, which I have done a video and is posted up on YouTube right now, but I'll just do it super quick. Uh, Self-contained composting toilet. Then we have a nice little countertop area here. Plenty of storage underneath for everything you need for a bathroom. A 60 gallon fresh water tank. Very nice little stove there. This little mirror from Ikea. Our uh, little instantaneous hot water heater. It's a 2.5 gallon unit. And then uh, water filters, wall fan. And then a very nice cozy five foot tub here with a nice little Clara story. A window up here. So thanks for watching guys. That's a quick tour of the interior of our modern wagon. Please let us know if you have any other questions down in the comments below. But stay tuned for some more videos that we'll post just about various aspects of our modern wagon. Alright, thanks guys.